going on guys it's cali back again now listen you got to do me a favor for covering this stuff hit the like button or the subscribe button or leave me a comment on what you think about this current situation who you see on the screen right now is harada trying to stop all these leaks from happening namco bandai trying to stop all these links from happening but it's just not working so you know what just let the river flow kind of like capcom did because at this point the tekken 8 leaks are getting out of hand now as you can see here on the screen uh, this is from 4chan so of course you got to take everything with a grain of salt you have to take everything with a you know a discerning eye but the way that these Tekken 8 leaks have been happening you almost have to believe everything that's coming out these days so the person start off by saying the character the roster leak seems 999 percent true now and then this particular one goes on to talk about just the special interaction with each character the data mining uh, apparently this is data mine info we see that lee is mentioned once again i mean at this point my man is in the game excellency is back this roster is now a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Sorry Bruce fans, sorry Eddie fans, sorry Lay fans, sorry Anna fans. I'm actually really sorry for you guys because I, I do think all those characters should be in the base roster. So I, I, I do sympathize with you guys. But Lee is mentioned once again. So we go back here. Apparently Nina and Lars have a special intro with Lee. That makes sense. Kazuya, Shaheen, Reyna. And then there's apparently also a leaked video of Kazuya in his devil form clashing with Reyna. Um, I don't know if I want to show that just because I do not want this video to get copyright struck. Of course, Brian and Yoshimitsu have been beefing since Tekken 5, so that makes a lot of sense. And then we have a little bit more info. Um, these things are called fate. I'll let you guys read this stuff off the screen. I'm going to leave it here for a little bit. Personally, I don't want to read through it all because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not like there's any pictures or anything. So apparently Marduk's fighting style is here and translated to all the languages and the game support. So he is like 70% confirmed, probably. Highly doubt they translated Vale Tudo just for testing purposes. Or maybe they removed him in the process. So there might be some love for Marduk fans here. So what this also shows me, guys, is that potentially it's not over. Okay, these are also leaked images probably from the reveal trailer as the person goes on to say. It's not particularly over, guys. There could be some love for Eddie. There could be some love for Lei. There could be some love for Anna. I do agree that those OGs should be in the game. I do think it's blasphemous that those OGs are not in the game. Absolutely. Personally, I feel like these leaks are just getting out of control. I don't know if this is a mole on the inside. I don't know if there's someone in Bandai Namco who has it against Harada and the team. But the way that this has been handled is very reckless. It's causing a lot of strife and struggle in the community. Even if you try to avoid these leaks, in this day and age, it's almost impossible to avoid leaks. Um, Namco has to get this under control. This is just getting out of hand. If they need to take the Street Fighter 6 approach and just reveal the whole roster in a uh, trailer, I say go ahead and do that because we're getting internal uh, videos leaked. We're getting beta videos leaked. Leaked Again, if you guys want to check out the source of this, you have to go to the Reddit video game rumors, of course, and uh, or the Tekken Reddit, and they have it all on there. I'm not putting that video on this channel because I do not want to get struck by Namco and the Namco police. But I do think it's unfortunate. Um, I made a community tab poll asking you guys, what do you think of all these leaks, man? Apparently, these character intros was in the data mine leaks. So it's unfortunate. But I think at this point, Namco just needs to come out and reveal the whole trailer with all the characters in it. Hey, it worked for Street Fighter. Street Fighter 6 is alive and well. It did not kill the game at all. But for me personally, it's just getting out of hand and somebody has it out for Namco. Maybe they're tired of waiting for Tekken 8. Maybe they took too long to come out with Tekken 8 or maybe it's a personal vendetta. I don't know, but you guys let me know. Listen, hit the comment and like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and it doesn't take you much to do. So go ahead and hit it. But if you guys are still excited for Tekken 8, let me know. When Lee gets revealed, you better subscribe because Lee fans, we are popping off. I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. Have a leak-free day. 
and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.